Hey, what's up guys? It's TechSumer talking to you here. And today, let's talk about the new M1X MacBook Pro 14 inch and all my concerns that I have about it. So, in my opinion, Apple should listen to what everyone is saying and keep the M1X on all prices. But what leaks have been saying is that the new M1X might just be an M1 at base price model, so at $1,800. But before we start, roll the intro. So, recent leaks have been quite pointing out that the new M1X MacBook Pro 14 inch might just come with an M1 at base price. Just because at $1,800 is shy of $300 from the other 13 inch M1 model. So, it's quite a lot of money for an M1 if you ask me, for $1,500, but the difference between the M1 and the 14 inch and the 13 inch is not big. $300 is not enough for Apple to give it a new design, more RAM, more storage and a better chip. So people are saying and are speculating that even with the new MacBook Pro 14 inch, we'll have only two Thunderbolt ports and one USB-C normal port and the other legacy ports that will come in this new redesign. So we might have a scattered release, just like the iMac, where we have two prices. And the first starting price is at $1,800. Well, we will get an M1, a redesign, 512 gigabytes of storage and 16 gigabytes of RAM to start with. And an M1, which is not that good when comparing it to the other computers at that model and at that base price. But then we will have another computer that maybe starts at $2,000 and it would have an M1X. So the chip upgrade would be $200 on top of those $300 to upgrade from the 13 inch to the 14 inch. And those $500 maybe would make sense for Apple to give it a new chip. But there's other possibilities, just like the mo model, the 14 inch one won't have an M1X, which in my opinion would be a big miss from Apple and a big failure. I would be very disappointed and I will be pushed to buy the 16 inch instead, which I don't want to because it's quite expensive. And in my opinion, it's quite troublesome to take to university and back because it's big and heavier than the 14 inch MacBook Pro. So, uh, I'm kind of worried, Apple, please just give us a 13 or 14 inch computer with your most powerful processor yet, with 32 gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte of storage. I just want a good computer of this size, like this, uh, this size. So, a small computer on the size of this MacBook Pro, but with much, much better processor capabilities and power in terms of GPU and all of that stuff. So <sighs> I'm worried. Look Miani and Rene Ricci and Telos of Tech and all Greg Gadget and Travis MCP have been talking about it. I'm worried that the new 14 inch MacBook Pro, at least the base model price, will be probably have an M1 and I just have to get used to that idea. So another thing that is that if Apple releases an M1X in the 14 inch at a second starting price of $2,000 or $21,000, I would buy it. I, will, I would pay more for that M1X because I think I need the performances and I would appreciate that gap for the future. So in my opinion, Apple should just give it the M1X to every computer, but as you know, they like to keep their lineup quite cleaned up. So the 14 inch doesn't cannibalize the 13 inch because there's some people that want to spend less than $1,800. So you give them an M1. And if you give an M1X to the $1,800 then the people start considering to pay just that just a bit more. And in Apple Mac line, Apple is not known to keep the prices a little bit downer than the competition just to sell more computers. No, they keep them higher, quite higher, just to make a bigger profit margin. So what do you think? What are your opinions on this subject? And would you buy an M1 
14 inch MacBook Pro if it were $1,800. Leave a like down below. Don't forget to subscribe and comment your answer down below. This is Tech Summer talking to you here. Bye.